I, I finally realised it. This sounds like a car from the PS1. Look at, what's going on there? You saw that, right? It is Ren Sport time, my dudes. Ah! I, I really shouldn't do that. Anyway, yeah, Ren Sport, the mysterious sim that you guys might have heard of, might not. I don't really know at this point. Ren Sport can't seem to decide whether it wants to be sort of well known and famous or not. On one hand, you see it broadcasted over on ESL, the biggest esport broadcaster in the world to an audience of sometimes a thousand people. But if you guys at home want to play it and take part, you have to either be part of an esports team who are given keys or sign up for a closed feature key. Now, this video was meant to be my first impressions of Ren Sport. I've been asking forever for a key to this game. Um, but I never seemed to get one. Until recently, that is. So I got the game downloaded, drove it for the first time, which you guys will see very shortly. And then after my recording session, I went over to Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called this week to do what I usually do, which is to search for some meaning in my otherwise boring life. And I came across this. This is an article from Race Sim Central. An article with a fairly spicy headline, which is Ren Sport using R Factor 2 physics parameters and more. An article that takes a lot of information from a post on the Studio 397 forums titled Ren Sport Stole Physic Construction from R Factor 2. Fairly bold claim. To paraphrase the article, it basically says that Ren Sport has used tire physics parameters from R Factor 2 or very similar lines of code and basically just copy and pasted that into their own physics engine without the permission from Motorsport Games. In fact, Tim Wheatley, the guy who wrote the article on Race Sim Studio, actually asked the Motorsport Games CEO, Stephen Hood, that very same question, did you give anyone permission to use this? And he flatly said, no. But as of yet, there's been no response from the guys over at Rensport as to what the situation here is at the moment. But given that Rensport made quite a big song and dance about not using anybody else's physics and building their own engine from the, from the ground up, this is fairly significant but keep all that information in the back of your mind whilst i'm off trying this game for the first time well here we are is there is there any game audio no apparently not where's the any key oh what the i gotta correct uh okay brb so interestingly whilst like signing up and putting my details in here i have to select which car that i want to own so obviously i'm gonna go for the mighty M4 GT4. I guess I now get this car in game, maybe? We're gonna find out. Right, so, so now it's telling me I've gotta download a companion app to use my, what the f Bro, I just want to play the game. Can I just race the game? Okay, I'm in, I'm also down here now. Um, so I've not seen any of this before. It's all completely new to little old Jimmer here. So we're gonna have a look through, see what's in there and then actually drive it and see what it's like. So I guess we're gonna my Ren Sport and see if this gives us anything we've got a garage which we have a few cars in here i will stop there is a praga Woo! we're gonna try that at some point nice but right now we've got a super limited selection of cars m4 gt4 audi r8 um another m4 gt4 i get two of them i guess i own this one and the fact that it's got a number next to it gives me some sort of nft vibes although i'm not quite sure it's classed as that. But anyway, uh, AMG GT3 and some Porsches. And of course, the Praga! Oh, man. I guess we'll try the M4 first, just because it is one of the GT3 cars. That's what the, the main focus of this game is. From what I can see, it's like GT3 and eSports competition. So we'll just try that first. Cool deliveries. What's on here? Oh, ugh. Right, okay. I think I've got like a preset now. Yep, good. Happy. How do I go back? Oh, sh! The rotation of my wheel is in a very odd place. I don't seem to be able to keep it where I want it. It's doing the thing where it overrides. Which is fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. Been out the pit lane for our first ever drive of Rensport. I have no idea what to expect here. Apart from what seems to be a little bit of a dodgy frame rate starting off. This is a GT3 car, so what I'm looking for is a GT3 style of drive. Where it's basically very easy to drive, but hard to drive quickly. Oh, already, obviously, back clipping. I turn it down a bit, I'm getting a lot of. Uh... Oh my god. 
Okay, well, so far, first impressions visually is it's not too stunning. From what I can see, I'm also driving like a bit of a helmet, but you know that you know the deal by now. That four seat back is definitely a little bit too high. They're clipping quite a lot. Oh wow, zero feel on the brakes there. But it's hard when you're already clipping the four seat back. So far, sort of makes sense. You can jump into it and drive it fairly hard straight away. Oh, not that hard though. What? He's very slidey though. Whoa. Come on, Jimmy. Stop me the helmet. Feels very lonely out here though. For me, it feels like. Obviously, this, this is in beta at the moment, but my first impression is that it, it really feels like it's in, in a beta. Oh, oh, sorry. I missed that layout. My bad. Okay. Let's go sort this 4 seat back out quick. For me, it feels a little bit like race room at the moment. This is how it looks, and the 4 seat back is clipping a lot. I don't know why it's doing that. I've turned it right down. The car feels very, very slidey. It feels a little bit like, um, in terms of driving, it feels a little bit like um, RF2. Oh my god. I'm not very good at either. Oh good, another penalty, my favourite. Whilst driving it though, like it's 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 okay to drive. I'm just trying to understand who this game is for outside of esports sweats right now, because as it stands at the moment in beta, bear in mind of course there's still some stuff to come, I imagine. It's GT3 Santa Praga, which we haven't driven yet. And a couple of circuits that, to be honest, uh scan better elsewhere. But it feels like There'd be no reason for driving this outside of being part of some sort of massive esports event. I don't know how to describe the driving is. It doesn't quite feel right. It feels like... I mean, I'm having my 4 seat back clip like a mother which isn't helping. I don't really know how to undo that, given that I've reduced it a fair bit. But it just feels like the car is wanting to slide to go fast. It wants a bit of slip to go fast, which, you know, in a, in a sort of road-based car, that's fine. But in a GT3 car, you don't want that at all. You want the car to... The grip, use the downforce, use the fat slick tyres. I know there are a lot of the eSport guys that might follow this channel and think, what the f is this guy talking about? But now I'm not an eSports driver, I'm just a I'm just a sim enthusiast. So when I drive something that doesn't feel quite right. I will say though, over games like iRacing, it feels like I, I can actually smash the brake of this and have the desired effect of it slowing down as opposed to walking. What's going on there? You saw that, right? I looked at that on the replay. It kind of felt like it was just skating through the corner. Here as well. Big skate on the way. I know the TC is kicking in there, but it feels like the car's just going, whoa, whoa. I don't really know what to make of that. Is there a replay mode here? No, it's not. Okay. Right. Anyway, I've never driven a GT3 car, but I have driven one of these. This is the Praga R1. Um, the car that I uh, took a championship in with my good friend Gordy. <laughs> it's all I've got, it's all I've got. So I thought, what a better way to actually see how this game feels than by driving a car that I actually drove only a few days ago. So it's fresh in my mind. I know roughly what to expect. Does it hold up in Rennsport? Let's find out. <laughs> What is that noise? Okay, obviously this is beta, but it sounds awful. <laughs> no one's really got the Praga spot on yet though, to be fair. It feels a lot faster than the Praga is IRL, given they're already maxing out the gear in Sith gear. Force it back to doing some weird stuff, very vibraty. Oh, this sounds awful. This is like hurting my ears. Oh, okay. Tires probably aren't warm yet. It feels super skatey already. It feels like the rear is like incredibly stiff and just wandering all over the place. It feels like an approximation of what a car is as opposed to actually sort of getting close to what it is. Simultaneously, understeers and oversteers, real life problems generate quite a bit of downforce. So, plant to the ground. This feels like it's 
both got downforce and hasn't got downforce at the same time. Should be flat for here, let's find out. It is good, no heavy brake. Oh, I've, I finally realised it. This sounds like um, a car from like Rage Racer on the uh, on the PS1. Joey, go find me a Rage Racer car. Right, so what I'm going to do um, is I'm actually going to try and put in a decent lap here. What I've been doing is driving around and moaning like a little bitch that I am. So what we're going to do is just push the start finish line, treat it as a hot lap, give it our best red hot go, and see how this game feels when I'm sort of trying to push and I'm on the limit. Oh yeah, well there you go. Already locked up like an absolute champ. Anyway, putting that inside rear wheel and we come across the start finish line to start our hot lap. In the Praga R1 in Rensport. Left gear and roll off that brake pedal. Very, very early indeed. Sorry about that. Now we're going to missile our way down to Rouge and Radion. Current accelerating very, very quickly. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the line. I can tell you already, if you ignore the penalty there, that this car, you can rev it to 7,000 RPM, and it makes power to 7,000 RPM. This car seems to... This version of it seems to die at over 6-7. The brakes for they come. You can feel the back of the car. It feels like a shopping trolley. It looks like it's trying to steer from the rear. Which in real life, this car is actually quite understeery. You can definitely tune it to not be understeery, but it feels super um, oversteery here. Right, through there, like I'm back in the car. Why am I sliding the car in? That's not how this car drives. That's not how a car of aero drives. You get a bit of pitch, of course, when you first turn in, but it's not like a whoa. Oh, Timmy, what are you doing? I'm driving my ass, but to be fair, the car doesn't make it easy. I'm just I'm drifting around the corner. This feels like driving the um, the, the fucking Mustang that I drove. You know, Alex Brundle's Mustang. It feels like that. I just turn it on the throttle, which is not really what you want from a downforce prototype to have similar characteristics to some sort of historic Mustang. I mean, this car looks the part, but doesn't feel or sound it, which is a real shame. What? God, I, oh my God. Yeah, big inside wheel spin there. So it's got the open diff right, but... I don't know. I just... Honestly, I'm not a fan of this at all. It um, does not feel good. It feels like a bad mod of the Praga. Um, which I don't like saying, because obviously people put a lot of effort into these sort of things. But at the moment, in this beta phase, it's um, it's not there for me right now. Well, that was Rensport. Um, as much as I can sort of show you anyway. Now, I get the impression this game is very much designed to be played online. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that functionality right now. But uh, playing it on my own with the two cars I drove, the uh, M4 GT3 and the Praga R1, I've got to say it feels okay. It feels all right. Graphically, the game looks a little bit like Race Room, which isn't a bad thing. That game looks all right, but it does also look a little bit dated. And in terms of feel, I couldn't quite get my wheel working properly. It seems to have a weird thing with the force feedback clipping. I kept trying to go into the menus, adjust things. It didn't seem to work. Um, in terms of driving, the GT3 felt a lot better than the Praga did. The GT3, although it did feel fairly decent going into the slower corners, in some of the mid-speed and high-speed, the car started to slide around a little bit. And it felt like that's sort of how the car wanted to be driven with a little bit of slide to it. In fact, if you look at some of the ESL broadcasts, you can kind of see the cars moving around in that way as well. So I think maybe that's the meta for this. The car needs to slide. As for the Praga, that kind of felt awful. It felt very strange indeed. Now I've driven the car in real life quite a lot and the car has quite a bit of downforce. This car or this version of the Praga felt like a go-kart with no real aero at all. And I don't know, it just didn't feel realistic to me it feels like it's been added but not quite refined yet and of course bear in mind all the stuff showed today is part of a beta so it isn't 100 done at this point so for me ren sport does still need a fair bit of work um at, at the moment in this beta phase there's not really anything to do 
for, for the single player driver. You're just on your own driving, doing hot laps, and that's really about it. Or entering online competitions, which you don't seem to be able to get into anyway, unless it's part of a scheduled big event. Now, I'm all for there being as many sims as possible, but in my mind, Ren Sport needs to do something different to really stand out from the crowd. Otherwise, it's just going to be another eSport game in a series of eSport games. And... I'm bored of that, frankly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to tap that like button and subscribe as well. I'm going to be trying to get back into the sim content a bit more now, now that I'm actually home and able to do so. So thanks for your patience. appreciate you all sticking with me. And of course, a massive thank you to the channel members and Patreons for supporting me and letting me do all this crazy real life racing I've been doing over the last few months. Take care, have an awesome day. See you next time. Some people get a move.